Hello everyone, welcome back to the Broku Cast, episode 29. I know, right? It's, 20, it's, it's, the 20, it's the 29th episode. Crazy. But welcome back to episode 29 of the Broku Cast. I'm your host, Broku Satsu, or Broku, or Aaron, whatever you want to call me. And, uh, well, on this podcast, we talk about stuff that I mostly like and don't like, but mostly stuff like comic books. Superhero, Toku, non-Toku, and other stuff as well. So, let's begin. Alright, so, uh, where can I start this? Oh, yeah, the title of this episode is called I Love Comics and Toku and etc. Why I say that? Well, it's actually true. I like comics. Even though I don't keep up with a lot of comics, mostly because there are way too many for me to keep up with. At times, I just sit down, read read one I like, call my interest, like, damn, this stuff is good. It's like, it's really good. Like, like uh, last night, well, this morning, I'll say, last night this morning, last night I was reading the, uh, the Spider-Man Beyond comic series. That, that had to do with Ben Riley and the Aftermath, that was the Dark Web comic series. I know all about that, FYI. And, uh, listen, I'm, I got something to say. I think the Clone Saga is probably one of the most over. I would call it overrated. No, it's just probably, it's probably one of the most over, like, over Ben Ben eyes. It's probably one of the most overused concepts in Marvel comics. Because, dude, I'm, I'm I think I'm not the only one excited that out. Why there's so many clones for for useless plot holes in comics? Like, bro, come on, really? My fucking phone's blown. My fucking phone's blown up. Like, bro, really? I don't want to. See, I don't want to see. I don't want to see. I don't want to see another Spider-Man story. Say, oh, look at this. Okay, another clone Spider-Man. This, this, and they're like, dude, how many clones does Spider-Man have? Like, dude, no joke. How many clones does how many clones does Spider-Man have? And I guarantee someone in the comments is gonna say, well, well, actually, he have he has so many clones. Yes, I know. There's a there's a version of him out there in the Ultimate series that. That's in a female body. That's about that's about a female clone of him. There's Ben <laughs> Riley, who became the Jackal, who became well Spider Man, and also became Casmus. Fuck it out, dude. <laughs> Not just that too. There's like, fuck, like what, like what, like what, like what other clone of Peter Parker out there? Peter Parker out there. I know there's a version of him. I know, I know there's a version of Peter out there that's the freaking Jackal. Like, dude, dude, can we stop with the Clone Saga stuff? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. My God, this is way worse than the Batman Who Laughs. I don't like that character. Why? He's just... Uh, in the beginning, he was really cool and interesting. I'm like, okay, what's your backstory? Oh, so you're basically just an evil version of the Joker. Just... You're just a Batman version of Joker. And you pretty much became omnipotent. Like, he, the fucker literally did. It took uh, Mr. I was going to say Mr. Miracle. The fucker literally took the fucking, the freaking brain of the Watchmen, I think his name was, and put it in himself and became omnipotent to fight to fight the uh, all-powerful being. I forgot what her name was. Listen, I have not been keeping up with... I have not... I have not read the... Uh, the Dark Metal books, I think it's called. The whole freaking book that has... The whole freaking book that takes place after the Dark... Uh, at, take place after Dark Metal. Oh, God. Dude, I have not been keeping up with all the Batman Who Left comics. I read the affected. I read these. I read the main DC metal and all that. I have read, I read a few of the aftermath, and that's it. 
but I have not read the freaking the freaking uh book. It's the I have I have the I have one of DC Mail books. It's very big. It's a huge comic. <laughs> and dude, I can't read all that. I I I, I can't read all that. I love comics. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time. They're way too many. They're way too many for them out there for me to keep up with. Now, I'm I'm not done, I'm not done talking about Spider Man comics because, dude, what the fuck's going on with Spider Man comics? Not the Spider Man. Like, I feel like the comic industry comic industry right now is fifty fifty. Cause there are few people who go out. In public, buy the comics, but yet there are others who just buy them online. Personally, for me, I'm 50 50. I don't have a comic book store near me, unfortunately, but 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 I do but I do go find one around my location at times, and go pick me up some comics. But at the same time, I like reading. I like I like reading the I like reading the stuff online. That's that's just that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion right there. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah though, comics. I like comics at the same time. Can't keep up with them. Same for manga as well. And for freaking anime. Oh boy. Okay. Let's talk about anime, shall we? I can't keep up with I can't keep up with show anime anymore, guys. I mean, I can't keep up with anime in general. A long time ago, I used to, but now, no, I can't. I can't. Cause like every new, every like, every like second, somewhat there's like a new anime dropping or like a new anime season dropping. Apparently, season two of Don't Mess Don't Mess with Miss Nagatoro just literally came out like last month. I didn't know. I didn't know. Why? I don't keep up with anime news anymore as I used to. I didn't know. I know the I know the late episode. I know the late episode is available now. I'll probably go watch that tonight. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. But but yeah. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. What the fuck? Dude? What the fuck? <sighs> Ew, boy. I don't know why I did like that. Please, uh, please forgive me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't keep up with comics or anime. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to do that now because, well, right now I'm in the beginning of transition, you can say, of of what's going on with my IRL life and uh, I've been focusing on that lately and I haven't been focusing on like on other stuff and oh by the way uh, I want to say this I, I'm planning on doing this week is making a, a, a update video talking about things that are going to change for this channel because I was supposed to make one at the beginning of this year but uh who my lighting and camera did not want to work with me, but uh we're gonna but uh, we're gonna change that now. So yeah, so yeah, expect this expect this like Monday, you can say, expect this Monday a uh, podcast. Oops, sorry. Expect this Monday a podcast episode because not part not not podcast episode. I mean a update video as well. There's a lot of things we gotta talk about. So yeah, uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's gonna happen. I feel like that right now my life is in uh, my life right now is complicated. We can say last well, this week at work, it was. What's the best for me? It was stressful. I was, it was stressful. I was tired, and I had like no energy, not one bit. And I was hungry as hell. <laughs> Give me language. Excuse my language. Excuse me, language. But yeah, I was hungry. 
why did the gear break, Broku? Well, right, well, what was it where I left out? <laughs> well, where I work at, I don't get breaks, unfortunately. Why is that? Well, I can't, I can't fully say because that's, that's between me and my managers. Stupid, just stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, speaking of IRL, we have an update for you guys. I have a job, I have like a job interview, uh, I have a job interview this uh, Wednesday, in fact, after work, and well, I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous, because dude, fucking hell, once this goes perfect, and good, and amazing, well, pretty much peak, I'm kidding about the peak part, once it goes really good, and amazing, and when I get an email or call, uh, I'm gonna leave my current job f forever. I've been thinking about that last week or this week too. Huh? Once this, once this, once this interview goes through and go pretty good, I'm no longer working at my current job. I've been there for three years, had my ups and downs, and that place isn't bring me isn't bringing me to my full potential. And that's really disappointing and annoying, I can't lie. Well, it's time for a change. Here we go. So yeah, that's happening. I'll come back up to I'll come back up there with you guys this week. Next week I say on next episode. Episode thirty. Three episode, holy shit. Episode thirty of the, my podcast talking about talking about how the job interview go how this and this happened uh, yeah uh, I'm sorry guy. I'm tired <laughs> uh, I'm tired I have like no energy so uh Zazam I just saw Zazam Fury of Gods today and uh well I just gotta say it was a really good movie it felt like the movie was talking about. I'm not gonna spoil. Don't worry. I like the message it has about about being a, about being a family, and I love that. Really good stuff. <laughs> really good stuff. This one scene in the movie that that my mom cried about, and I I was fanboy kind of say. I'm not gonna say what it's about, but I go watch the movie, and you'll see, you'll see and you'll see who I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, the movie was really good. I, I was, I had my, like, here are my thoughts on the movie. I thought it was good, not amazing, or ten out of ten. Hell no, it's not. It's not like the best DCU movie. Honestly, nah. I think like the what? The, what the best DCU movie? Uh, let's see. Probably, probably the first Wonder Woman. We, we don't talk about 1984. We don't talk about 1984. That movie is just... Oh, God. We don't talk about the sequel over here. That, cause that movie was just bad. Jesus Christ, Patty Jenkins. What the fuck were you... Sorry. Jesus Christ, Patty Jenkins. What the heck were you thinking, girl? <sighs> Honestly, I think that I think like the best DCEU movie would right next to this one, right next to Wonder Woman is uh, yeah, I'll say the first is Zam. Why well, I like this movie, I think I, I thought I thought Fury of Gods was good, but at the same time, uh, I like the first movie way more. <sighs> I don't know. There's something about this. There's something about the first uh the Zam movie that I really loved and enjoyed. So yeah, man, yeah, Fury God was good. It was not perfect, a ten out of ten, but it was good. And I gotta say this, <laughs> gotta say this. So we we're about to get ready to leave, and uh, this freaking idiot, this one, this one person was talking to the talking to like I'm gonna say his grandma or his mom. Give like his mini review in public, like two seats across away from me. 
saying, oh, so Xanam's a good movie. I could see them make a lot of Xanam. I'm like, I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Don't know why I hear you. Give me a, a damn review in the movie. Motherfucker, go make a podcast about that. Oh, wait. I am doing that myself. Bro, go bro, go talk about the movie on a podcast with friends. Just not in public. Just keep it to yourself in your head. <laughs> My goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. I never expected I'll find a. I never expected I'll find someone give a review on a movie in public, like two seats away from me, across from me. I'll say that not right across from me. That's it. Two seats away from me. Giving his review after after the movie ended and, and the credit scenes are done. Like, dude, I don't want to hear your review on the movie. Make a video about that. Put it on YouTube. Or heck, make a podcast about it. Talk about why you like that movie. Just don't do it in public, my guy. What the heck? <laughs> but uh, movie aside for that, yeah, Fury Gods was good. Not perfect, but it was good. I'm not gonna lie, my family I've been seeing movies back to back to back. Okay, so July. We saw, January, we saw me, my mom, and my brother saw Shane Ultraman. February, we saw Quantum Realm, the new Ant Man movie. Uh, <laughs> what was it, this month or last month? One or two, but we saw Creed 3. I fucking love that movie. That, that, that movie, that movie's so fucking good. And uh, now we saw this. Oh well, pretty crazy though. We saw like I saw like four movies back to back. Two are peak. The other two are peak in my opinion. That's Shin Ultraman and uh, Creed. Uh, Quantum Round, Quantum Round. The new anime movie was yeah, all right. I didn't like it that much. Cause, like it didn't. I don't care for the MCU anymore. I, I'm just going to be honest. The last time I cared for MCU that, that I was hyped for was Wakanda Forever. Right now, I don't care for the MCU. And yes, I know. I should be saying that because Marvel had, Marvel had like a lot of plans going on for MCU. Dude, uh, unless Marvel unless Marvel gave respect to the, to the effects team, because my God, the effects team worked so over hard. Oh, so hard on the effects for all the MCU movies. And Disney treated them like crap. Not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> bro, people... Bro, d listen. People had a hard time with with the effects for Endgame, I think it was. Or Infinity War, one or two. And Disney was rushing them. And well... Just gotta say this, Disney. For a company that has literally, for a company that literally almost has like every franchise, I say almost, and say that uh, they care for the employees, why are you treating them like crap? Just saying, why are you treating them like crap? Like, dude, come on, really? Really? Why are you treating like crap? That's just that's just fucked up. And the uh, God, Love and Thunder. Okay, this movie, this movie, this freaking movie. A.K. One of my least favorite movies of last year. Oh God, Love and Thunder. It just felt like Taika Waititi just shat, just just shat on the shit on the movie. And the fucker even said that uh, he did not read any Thor comic. He tried to read one, and now uh, that's it. Like, dude, dude, Mister Rock TD, you directed Ragnarok, did you not? And I fucking love that movie. It's one, of my, it's one of my favorite MC movies because how goofy, stupid it, that is. That movie works for Thor's character. And what I mean by that, I mean for I mean for like for the human side, not for the serious side. 
Love and Thunder just felt like a cheesy, crappy rom-com about Thor, about Thor, his hammer, his hammer, his hammer, his ex, and an ex-girlfriend that 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 he that he made out with, and the and they both fell in love again. Like, dude, what the fuck? Like, really, really, Mia, really, dude. Dude, this movie, dude, dude, that movie was just weird. Christian Bale's in it. Yes, he played Gore. Who had the... Okay, I just gotta ask. Just gotta ask. What, what? Okay, so I know in the comics, Gore's weapon is the symbiote sword. In the movie, what the frick was that? Because they did not explain. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Is that the symbiote sword from the comics? Nope. I have no idea what the hell that is because the symbiote is well, the symbiote's in MCU due due to that useless due due to that useless end credit scene from from No Way Home. But dude, what the hell was what the hell? Sorry, what the freak was uh what the freak was uh Gore's sword? In uh, Love and Thunder, it wasn't symbi- what wasn't a symbiote sword. What was it? Like what was it? I still I want to know. I want answers, but I already know that I won't get none, unfortunately. And well, Thor: Love and Thunder what wasn't the best, and it flopped in the box. Jesus Christ, Taco TV. And for God's sake, can we stop with the nanotech helmets? In suits, can you just go back to the original suits in MCU? Because, bro, everyone now in MCU has a nanotech suit. The Guardian of the Galaxy, Ant Man, Wasp, freaking Ant Man's daughter, I forgot her name, Spider Man, <laughs> dude, freaking Black Panther, T'Challa did, his sister does too, Iron Man as well. Shall I keep? Shall I keep going? It is getting repetitive. No, rep- no. It's getting repetitive. Much better. Sorry. It's getting fucking repetitive as shit. And well, I want that to stop. Like, really, stop. Like, how much money are you wasting, Disney? Pay your effects team because you guys are treating like crap. And the fact, and the fact that pretty much half of them just left already because how dirty, how dirty y'all are treating them. Like, bro, I read watch Puss in Boots. I haven't watched that movie. I want to. I heard it's pretty good. And yet it made to beat Avatar in the box office. Also, how the hell did that movie not got an Oscar, an Oscar, but Avatar two did. This is coming from me. I don't really like the Oscars. I don't trust. I don't trust the Oscars. Why? Oscars have their fair share of sus stuff, crescent ball things. We can say, you know. Well, I have a. Uh, I don't trust them. Not one bit. Just like Illuminus. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't. I don't trust that article team. Who are the Illuminus, Aaron? It's a news article. It's a news report team in the token community. I don't trust them because they the freaking clickbait at the freaking freaking clickbait for the thumbnails. I do I just I just don't believe a single word that they say. I'm like where are you getting information from? Like who's telling the information? Cause I wanted to see an actual real source, but no. Nah. I don't believe for Illuminus. I don't. Because apparently, from them, we're getting it, we're getting a battle Wild Force Red. I'm like, are we? Where's your proof at? Like, literally, who tell you? Like, literally, who told you this? Who told you this? Because I don't believe you guys. I was never a fan of Illuminus and, uh, Clickbait articles. Moving on. So back up about the MCU. Yeah. Uh, 
I think after No Way Home and Wakanda Forever, the MCU had divided into into good and bad. I love Chong Chi, one of my favorite MCU movies. Uh fuck. Quantum Realm was okay. I don't care for the end credit scene with Loki. Why? I didn't hot take. I thought I, I thought Loki's Disney Plus show was boring as hell. But that's just my opinion. Uh, let's see, Moon Knight was good and decent. It wasn't the best. Falcon and Soldier has a Falcon and Soldier. A few things don't age in that sh in that uh, show, in my opinion. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, what else? WandaVision? Don't care for WandaVision. I thought the, I thought that. Movie, movie. I thought, I thought the show was overhyped. But yes, I know it was part of Multiverse of Madness. But at the same time, Multiverse of Madness was just. My God. Multiverse of Madness just felt like wasted potential. Moving on. And, uh, what else? And, uh, what else? What else am I forgetting? No, that's it. Oh, yeah, what if? I thought, I thought what if was good. But, but like nothing special. Episode two, the episode two, what if is the best one? Because if you know, you know why. That felt like a tribute to that man, God rest on his soul. So yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's based that's that's based that film at MCU. I like it's like I like Marvel and all, but at the same time, dude. Mar I just don't care for the MCU. And no, I don't care for the DCEU as well. Listen, I say I, I told my I told my parents this. I told I told my parents this. I don't care for Ezra Miller. I don't like that guy. I'm only watching the Flash movie for Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Why? Because here's a fun fact about me. He was my first Batman. <laughs> As a little kid, I watched Batman 89 for the first time, and I loved it. And me seeing him go bring back nostalgia. Okay, well, well, it's Michael Keaton, the fucking GOAT. The man the man who played well the Cape Crusader in live-action movies. And two. And he's coming back for this, for this mid-ass movie. And I'm like, hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's go. My boy Keaton's in here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see him. And that bat suit looks so good, even though it's half CGI. I don't care. Boy, I'm boy, I'm excited to see this man. That movie. I fucking love. Uh, I fucking love the bat. I fucking love the bat suit. I I I, I love that Keaton suit. I'm sorry. It's simple. It's one, of my, it's one of my favorite live action superhero. It's one of my favorite live action comic book suits. Because one, it's based on the comics. Two, I know that uh, Keith then couldn't. I know that Keith then had a hard time in the suit. <laughs> he even said it himself. But uh, I love the all black and yellow symbol on there. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I, I, I do. Batman Night is a. Uh, is a treasure we can say for me. Well, going to see this man, the Flash, just for him in that sense. Don't care for Ben Affleck. His Batman is kind of boring, in my opinion. Uh, again, as a Miller, cause the f off. Don't care for that guy. They they canceled Batgirl, which which I was excited for 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 this crappy movie. I can't say crappy movie for this movie. Yeah, yeah, it was dumb to cancel Batgirl because like we almost got Michael Keith there in that movie, in that show. No, like, no joke, no joke. I mean, movie, no joke. He was literally, he was for real, uh, going to be in in the Batgirl movie. Then Warner Bros. canceled for the Warner Bros. canceled. Then Warner Bros. went on a hiatus, canceling every good potential, uh. DC uh, movie, and yet they did cancel the Flash. 
at this time when Ezra Miller was doing his dumb BS. I got, I really hate this man. <laughs> ay, ay. Okay, Warner Brothers. Okay, Warner Brothers. Apparently, there's something going on over there in your department that has that has bias towards this. Hey, bro, hey, bro, what the fuck? We we almost got a Batgirl, Batman Beyond movie. Hell yeah. I like Barbara Gordon. She's one of my favorite. She's one of my favorite members of the Bat family. I like Tammy McGinnis. I love Batman Beyond. It, it, it's a good show. I love Return of Joker. It's one of my favorite. Yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, Batman movies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have just have a blade part there. But bro, what the hell? Like, bro, what the freak? Come on, Warner Brothers. And no, I'm not buying that crappy McFarlane Batman 89 figure. That oh my god, McFarlane. McFarlane. Okay. 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 Let's talk about Mr. Todd himself. Now, I have an opinion on the McFarlane toy line. Now, I have friends that I have friends that buy his toys. That's totally fair. That's understandable. That's your money. I'm not gonna judge you or be an asshole for that. No. But I have an opinion on on McFarlane. And also, no, not because of Spider Criminal's two-part video of him exposing Chris I. McFarlane's toys. No, this is just me. <sighs> Todd's figures, McFarlane's figures can be 50-50, I can say. And what I mean by that, at times, you can say, okay, you know what, I see some progress here and there, that's pretty good. All the time, it look, his figures are just freaking bricks. Like, dude. Like, I have a few of his figures. I have his Nightwing, and yet, guess what? The freaking arm, the freaking arm popped off when I, when, when I first got it. I had the bad, I had the, I had the better since Batman, the Batman. That figure's crap. I have Batgirl, that, that figure's just mid. Well, no, that figure's just booty cheeks. Literally, it actually is. That garbage. <laughs> and like, dude, Todd. I, Todd, what the freak? I know you give you a reason why you figure that I know articulation, but buddy, buddy, how are you going to trash talk Japanese collector saying how, you, how, you, saying how you, your figures are better than there, when yeah, your figures don't have no articulation? Dude, I'd rather spend two thousand dollars on a freaking hot toy guess what that bitch has articulation your figures don't buddy <laughs> what the freak at least marvel legends do i'm not a big i'm not i'm not I'm, at least marvel legends do have articulation you know i'm not the biggest marvel legend fan God, trust me i have my criticism towards hasbro and the marvel legend but that's just me but dude dude what the fuck? Dude. And also, Tom McFarlane making uh, Demon Slayer figures. They look god awful. Like, Todd. 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 You guys want to know you guys want to know why we never got the uh, Bakugo? In Deku anime hero figures over here in America, because Tom McFarlane bought the rights to my Hero Academia figures. <laughs> Todd, stop making my Hero Academia figures. Not just that, just stop making anime figures in general, buddy. Cause you're, you're not good with them. Like for fuck's sake, like I have your, I have Todd's uh. Erdorakka and Shelto. My god, those figures look ugly as hell. I want the Figmas and the Mihiyamaguchi so badly. Because those look good. Spe especially Mihiyamaguchi. Oh my god. I I did have the Wolverine a long time ago. I still have it. But, uh. But, uh, that figure was. But, but that figure was my first Yamaguchi, you know. I can say that. Uh, I can say that the figures are good. I want the Todoroki. Because Shoto is my favorite. My, Shoto is my favorite character in My Hero. No joke. He's my favorite character in My Hero Academia. And, well. 
Todd's figure, Todd's My Hero figures are complete garbage. So here's the thing about me for like, so here's the thing about me. For me, loving a figure, it gotta have three things, three layers. Good articulation, good accessory, and am I gonna have a fun time with this toy or not? Todd's McFarlane figures are one out of three. Actually, no, they're zero. <laughs> because, hey, bro, why your figures have one fist and one open hand, and yet, yeah, yet the figure accessory only come with like one other non open or fisted hand? Bro, what? What the freak? <laughs> Not just, not just that, by the way. It's like, it's like, dude, I don't, I do. I don't want to see, well, your crappy figures in my, in like my location, but no, they're everywhere in my location. Walmart, Target, Myers, GameStop, even though, I, even though I haven't been to my GameStop in a long time, in fact, since, well, Shit, last year, you know, that's good. Cause last year, uh, let's just say that I did something that, uh, let's just say that last year, uh, GameStop is not happy with me. Worst time ever in there. That was a horrible customer service, that's for sure. <laughs> so, anyway, back off of that. So anyway, back on from that. Uh, yeah, though, Todd's figures aren't my favorite. I'm just going to say that if you, if you want, like, good anime figures, just stick with figure arts. Not just figure art. Bandai and Maya Cut making them Demon Slayer figures. Just, and FYI, I'm going to say this. I don't care for the show. I'm, the, I'm not I'm not even watching the show. Why? The show's, the show's, the show's overhyped. The show's overhyped. And also, the community just ruined the show for me. Like, dude. Yes, I know it had cool, awesome animation. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, yo. I'm gonna be honest with you. People treat this show like... Like the next Attack on Titan. I don't really like Attack on Titan. So that's the thing. Cabo, Attack on Titan. Oh my goodness. Now, I have not watched any episode. I just gotta say this. I just gotta say this. Please let the... Please let the... Animators at MAPPA rest or get a break. Because they're crunchy. They're crunchy non-stop with that season finale. Dude! What the hell? I thought, the, I thought last year it was supposed to be the season finale for the whole show. Nope! 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 MAPPA like, oh! Oh! You guys thought, oh, you guys thought, you, oh, you y'all thought you were done, huh? That's cute. Nope. Time, time to crunch more, 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 for more stuff from. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Being an animator working twenty four seven in an animated studio could be tiresome. I can, t I'm not. And this, let's say, I'm not even an animator, but I'm, but I'm just gonna. Well, I'm guessing. That it's gonna be tiresome as hell, and I'm hoping that for all the people that are working non-stop at Map at Mapper Studio get a break. Like fucking hell, they got they got so many animes to do. Apparently, One Punch Man getting a third season. Oh, that's good to hear. I dropped season two because the quality was god awful. And <laughs> apparently, it's rumored that Map is gonna be doing animation. Oh god. Well, they did. Uh, they did the first. Well, they did the first season animation. That was godly. Season two. Season two animation was just bland and boring. Oh god! Don't let Mappa. Don't let Mappa do this. Don't don't let Mappa uh, do season three of One Punch Man. <laughs> Please don't. They don't deserve this. Like, bro. Like, listen. They don't deserve. They don't deserve this. They're working on so many crap right now. Like, for fuck's sake, they just did Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man last year. I, now I have not read the manga or watched the anime, so keep this. So I'm gonna keep this in mind. 
But bro, they they, they literally did change on man, change on man last year. And now the now the fucking doing. <laughs> ah, I felt sorry for them. I felt sorry for them. I actually felt sorry for the animators, cause Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, dude. Do you wanna know? Do you wanna know the worst part about being an anime fan? I can't. Uh I do not like anime Twitter. Because back in the day, I used to be on any Twitter like a lot. 2019, I got in beef with, with, with a few anti tubers and a few anime voice actor after this. They blocked me on my old account. <sighs> Don't worry, they, they haven't blocked me on my new one, on my current one, because, well, they don't know who I am. So, moving on. But, uh,. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> Any Twitter is just toxic. No, like, every Tokusatsu, not, not Tokusatsu, every, like, uh, Twitter community is still toxic. Anime, comic book, Marvel, DC, Toku. And I can't, I just can't stand negativity, my guy. Like, for freak's sake. I just want to go one day without seeing some asshole harassing, like, my friends on them, like, Sir, why are you harassing them? Can you please just stop? Like, just feel, stop. Like, come on, just, just stop. This isn't necessary. Like, bro, this, 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 this isn't necessary for one bit. But, uh, you know, Twitter, people who start arguments don't know when to crit. And that's honestly a problem and really annoying to this very day. And I just wanted to stop. Oh god. I'm I think you tell I think you tell I'm very tired. Oh god. Oh god, this podcast episode is gonna be short, unfortunately. But uh but uh yeah. Uh sorry. But uh yeah. Uh, fuck, damn it. I had something in mind. Fuck, shit. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm tired. Fuck. <laughs> I'm still working on the Goku and, and Goku and Vegeta video. It's almost done. It's almost done. I just gotta go treat a few more. I just gotta go treat a few more things here and there. And, uh, well, poof. The whole video is Eximo. I don't know why I said that, but the, 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 the whole video will be done. I've been working video since like shit last week, you know. Well, it's felt well. It's the, the editing's not done. Still gotta go back and edit and fix a treat a few things. But uh, besides that, everything else for the video looks really good. I can't wait for you guys to go see it. Cause I've been I've worked my butt off for this thing. So I want to make a so my update video. I won't be like uploading like any like figure review for this for this month. Why is that? You were dick enough. Wait, wait. Blah. Why is that? You 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 were doing like Jeets in there. I did. I did do Jeets. Jeets, Vice. Well, Jeets, Revy, Vice, Super Saiyan Four, Vegeta, and yeah. Hey, thing. I have a. Uh, I'm trying to save my money. Not trying, not trying to buy, not trying to buy like a lot of stuff. So there's also that too. I have like Zen Kaiser Black on its way. I I bought uh, Friday was payday for me, and I well I ran Amazon and saw they have one copy left of Zen Kaiser Black. We're gonna keep an eye on. I'm like, you know what? I want Zen Kaiser Black. Never got him, and uh, this is my lucky day. You know, I have one. He should be here Wednesday. <laughs> Can't really take pictures of that sexy beast. <laughs> AKA the hero of Dawn Brothers. <laughs> Speaking of black, okay, that sounds so that that sounds totally racist. I didn't mean to say it like that. But uh for those that pre ordered the Japanese release of Shadow Moon, coming out of Shadow Moon for, for, for SA Figure Arts, he's coming out next month. Luckily, I did. I pre ordered the Japanese release. 
It's kind of a, it was a birthday present to myself last year. If those don't know, last year on uh, the twenty twenty second, last year on December fifteenth, I got COVID, and well, I couldn't leave my room for for the past seven days. How did I get COVID? Work. Don't worry, don't worry, I don't have any more. But yeah, I got COVID, unfortunately, and well, that wasn't the best. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was just stupid. <sighs> no, I don't have COVID anymore. But uh, yeah, uh, last year, I asked m last year I asked my friend my birthday. Oh wait, so who should I get? This figure or pure Shadow Moon? He said Shadow Moon. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I came and had Shadow Moon. You guys already know that I'm the biggest Black Sun fan. Listen, 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 listen. Everyone talk about how Revice helped them through the helped them through the year, helped them through the uh, through the I I R O lives last year. That's totally fair. So here's the thing for me. Black Sun woken something inside of me when I finished watching. I'm like, what the fuck? I missed something. Can you say it again? Alexa, turn off. I didn't know. I didn't know how she turned off. Yeah, a uh, black sun uh, woke in something inside of me. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, wait, hold on. What's this feeling I'm getting? And then the more I thought about the show, the more it became my fa the more it came, more, the more I thought about the show, the more it became well connected to me. Why is it connected to you, Boku? I have my reasons. You know, well, I, I, I think to tell you, I think to tell you why. I think, I think it's to tell you why. So you know how in Black Sun they are like. The show talk about uh, political things and racial issues. I can relate to two of those. You can say the racial issue, the racial issue part, the one I can relate to the most. Why? Story time. Uh, this is actually serious. This actually happened. Uh, I'm not a big fan of how this happened. So this happened around 2019. I think it was 2020. And I'll mind my business, walking, listening to music, and uh, I'll I'll like I'll like get some like fresh air exercise, right? And uh, out of nowhere, two cop cars, two cop cars, approached me. I'm like, what the heck? So I turn off my music, and asked them if they're a problem officer, and then they tell me that uh, they and they told me that uh, someone called me, someone reported me. That's right. Someone in my neighborhood called the police on me, and uh, well, here's the here's the here's the worst part. They asked me for my ID. I told them, "Oh, I don't have it on me." And dude, it was uncomfortable. Three white people, three white cops, and one black guy. <laughs> how do I remember that, dude? Don't ask how, but I do. It was uncomfortable as hell. And it was the worst part. It was the worst thing ever. A black, a black man, a black man can't even enjoy enjoy having a, a fellow walk. Well, well, some, well, some freaking piece of shit human being called the police on him. And that's annoying, and I hate that. And you wanna know why I like Black Sun? Because one, because I, because I saw that in the show. I saw myself in the show, and it was emotional, and it and it and it, and it, and it freaking clicked with me. I told the many other people, but uh, why I didn't like Revice, Black Sun was my Revice, we can say, <laughs> and uh, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Do I think better than Revice? Revice is more of a goofy show, but at the same time, I don't care for that show. So moving on. Black Sun clicked with me because of that reason. There are like a lot of other moments in my life that uh that that people give me weird looks because because of my skin color. And how people treat me because of my skin color. 
and how and how people how people are, how people and how people say racist things to me because of my skin color. And well, let's just say, again, I saw all that in Black Sun. It hit me around like the episode when uh when Nomusko was talking about why Kaijin's lies matter. I'm like, damn, this is uh this is definitely this this is definitely referencing referencing Black Lives Matter. Cause dude, they got so many they got so much inspiration from America for what's going on over here and uh I gotta respect them. I gotta respect I gotta respect Toy for doing that. Even though a few of the few of it is fucked up, yes. But you get what I mean. And uh shit. <laughs> Sorry. And uh that the final episode of Black Sun clickered me as well. Mostly I said I did say yeah, I did say the number score part about him talking about why Kaijin life matter hit me too. Because that did too. But 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 but, but the emotional part of the show clicked with me in the final episode of Black Sun. I won't spoil it, but uh, that finale, that final episode, damn. And also, they reference, they, they reference, uh, I'm just gonna say this, they reference Joy for Loy in there. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, that part, that part was uncomfortable for me to go, that, that part was uncomfortable for me to walk like, like, okay, Toby. I get it. You were referencing a lot of stuff what happened in America over here, but uh, that was just a little bit too much, don't you think, Toei? That was a little bit too much. Just saying. And uh, yeah. Black Sun is uh. <sighs> for those who know, for those who know, for those who know about about my personal reason, I just told you why. And uh, yeah, that's why I like Black Sun because everything I just told you is basically how I saw in the show. Cause shit, I saw myself in the show, and I know I'm, I know I'm not the only one who saw himself. I know I'm not the only black person who saw himself in the show. And uh, I just gotta say, it boops her. And I just gotta say that that basically hits. It hit it, it connected with me because of that. I have plenty to be watching Black Sun this year again. I can't wait. But yeah, Black Sun uh <laughs> Black Sun Black Sun is my revise we can say. I have Shadow Moon on pre order. I wanna go pre I wanna go pre order the freaking uh tape poster for Black Sun. But I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna wait till I get more money, more money in my account. Got right another two weeks, I guess, for the next payday. <laughs> I have the bike in pre order too, and I can't really get that. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, Black Sun is, uh. <laughs> Black Sun was some. Black Sun. Black Sun was amazing. It was beautiful. It had a lot of issues, yeah, but at the same time, I like what the. I got the message that, that the show was talking about, because again. I saw myself and all the things that happened to me in that show. And uh it and uh it got me in tears, dude. It got me in fucking tears. Only the only time for a Toku show to give me in tears is like if like something sad's happening or like some type of romance or love story is happening. Like for fuck's sake. Magic Rangers, uh Ordera and Hakara Sensei Ro uh can I say love story? Yeah, love story got to me. <laughs> Not just them. Uh, freaking G Janet, Janet and uh, Oscar's love story and Opera Ranger. Even though that love story is fucking weird, at few parts. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, there's also uh, episode ten of Mega Ranger. Was also my boy Goki from Ginga Man and and the freaking teacher. <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy. I love Goki. Uh, fuck, I love Ginga Man. Moving on. <laughs> listen, listen. I love Ginga Man, okay? Listen, forget you haters. Ginga Man's awesome. 
I had a fun time watching it this year after after disappointment that was Die Ranger. I sat down, watched Ginga Man, like, holy shit, this stuff is good. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what the freak? I know, I know, it's basically Japanese. I know, it's basically kind of paid from Lost Galaxy. Pay thing. Let me say this. I actually, pre I actually prefer Ginga Man's first arc over Lost Galaxy because, well, Lost Galaxy is a copy and paste. Ginga Man's first arc was, Ginga Man's first arc felt more emotional, heroic, heroic, heroic. Heroic, in my, my opinion. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I fucking love Ginga Man. It was a good show. Well, Yoma, one of my favorite red. He, this, this guy's underrated as hell. He's fucking awesome. Like, his whole speech is not giving up on his, on his brother, Hugo, and the others. I loved it. Oh, my goodness. We got, we got Hakaru, Ginga Yellow, Saya, Ginga Pink, Hayek, Ginga Green, and my boy Goki, Ginga Blue. And then we got Hugo as Bull Black. Akurashi, but uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Ginga Man is so good. Ginga Man is so good. I, f I watch it. I, f I fucking love it, dude, because I don't see people talk about Ginga Man. Just, just like the same people, just like the same people, I, just like how yeah, I don't see, just like how yeah, I don't see the same people talk about Gogo Five. I fucking love Gogo Five. I love the suits. Don't at me. And Ginga Man was a fucking emotion. Ginga Man got Ginga Man got me emotional too. Like I was rooting for the for Yoma and others in the final battle. Like let's get oh fuck so I was rooting for Yoma and others in the final battle, saying let's go. It's so cool. I love it. This is why Ginga Man is fucking A tier, in my opinion. Cause God damn it, that show. Not just A tier, I think it's S tier material list. But yeah, Ginga Man was just. Fuck, it's so good. So good. So good. I I, I can't wait to have Maya in a. Uh, I can't wait to have Maya Kendra in my collection for Lightning Collection for the Lost Galaxy. Oh, speaking of Lightning Collection, perfect segment, Ray. <sighs> Hasbro, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's talk. So, now that I'm talking about, this week, Hasbro released, I think it was a Monday or Tuesday, one or two, they released the, uh, the, they released an announcement that said that uh, the Lightning Collection SP Yellow and Lost Galaxy Yellow are GameStop exclusive. So, here's the thing. They weren't. Because, one, they were on Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, and Hasbro Pole. So, why would you call them a GameStop exclusive when yet yeah, other retail web, retail web, retail websites have them? For those one, for, for those one, for those one to know where did I, where did I bought my Big Bad Toy Store. Moving on, I just want to know what 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 were you thinking, Hasbro? Like I'm excited, I'm happy that that deck arranger and Ginga Man are both completed. Hell yeah! But bro, why why drop this now? Not like a fan fly there or something. Like I know Hasbro does not care for the brand, and they pretty much they pretty much made it clear. Also, you want to explain to me Hasbro how uh on Black History Month last month, you guys did you guys you guys the trade account was completely uh empty and uh, silent. I mean, yeah, a fan a fan uh, a fan powers account did a whole. Month of celebrate Black Rain Black uh uh Black Black Rangers, fuck that's some racist. Not semi Black Ranger. I mean like uh Black Power Ranger. Yeah, Black Power Rangers. But yet the official Power Ranger account was silence. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, what what? I thought Power Rangers. I, I thought Power Rangers all about diversity. So how the hell is a fan made account do way better? Than an official account. Hasbro. Hasbro. Hasbro! What the fuck, yo? Why are you guys doing this? Just why? Just why? Why are you guys doing this so much?
Pass blow. Why? Like, I get it, okay? You guys, you guys, you guys really don't care. Because, well, you let go, you, you let go, you, you let go two of your best employees for, for helping you in the brand. You scope it, and the one person that was part, the one person that was part of the last, uh, Power Ranger event, you let her go. What the fuck, has bro? What, what, what the hell? And that their QC, your QC issue, oh my god, your QC issue. They're becoming more and more worse every day. And also, 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 I had also this isn't this isn't like this isn't lightning collection related, but I, I have an issue with I have an issue with with this new Marvel Legend wave. Okay, okay, Hasbro, why the why the hell is the new Marvel Legend wave look so half ass for the accessories? Chasm doesn't come with no freaking claws or web effects. He just come with two freaking. Green effects. That's it. Where's his claws? He ha he he had claws when he fought Spider-Man. The comics. Not just him. Why the hell is Ben Riley's new Spider-Man costume missing like the wall color hands? Bro, what? It only has one. Where's the other one? Like, dude, what the hell? Like, ass blow. What the fuck, dude? This rave look really cool, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna lie. But come on, Hasbro, this isn't you. Stop stop doing half stop being half ass. Just stop. Just stop. Because your fucking Marvel Legends figures of last year weren't half ass. Well, Future Foundation Spider Man was. And totally Spider Man. Just saying. But hey, who's judging? But Hasbro, what the hell? Stop. Just just stop. Just stop. Just stop. And you, want, and you, want to, you wonder why fucking Tamashi's killing it. Hey, bro, listen. Hey, yo, Tamashi Nation. Hello. 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 My name my name, Fukusatsu. I'm a toy photographer. I take pictures I take pictures of your products. God, well, I, I reviewed them on my channel, which is, well, you can watch all the videos on here. Listen, Tamashi is killing it. Tamashi is killing it for, for the record for, for Tokusatsu toys for Kamen Rider Ultraman Sentai. Hasbro over here doing half effort. Ha Hasbro over here being complete half ass. And my god, Hasbro. Who the hell is posing your figures? Bro, what the fuck? Hell, I want to see this shit happen for Dragon Ball. I don't know what I'm saying. The fucking, uh. The fucking, uh. New York Comic Con stands for the reveal of Beast Gohan is in a half ass pose. What the fucking hell, Tamashi? I see I see y'all doing badass pose with your figures. So you y'all 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 weren't cooking for that part. <laughs> like, like, I'm just gonna say this, Hasbro. For real. Why you guys? Why you guys being lazy? Cause like this new wave, this, this new like Marvel Legends wave look really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I already like pre-ordered. I I pre-ordered like two days, but I know. Yesterday at the work, I did pre-order uh the the new Ben Riley Spider-Man off Amazon. Chasm's in my cart, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Why I want him because well, he doesn't come with any other accessories except for, well. Mm -hmm. Just, just uh, two like green effects for his hands. That's it, for his fists. Like where, are, like like where, like where are his claws? Where are his freaking web, his webs? Like what the hell? Just fists? He didn't come with fists? Really? Really? That's it? That's just disappointing. I'm just, that's just really disappointing. Like my God, Hasbro, this isn't 2020. And trust me, 2020, oh my goodness, Hasbro was a complete oof for Marvel Legend. No, 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 no. So, there's a story with me and a certain Marvel Legend figure that I'm not a big fan of, big fan of, that I did not like. That a lot of my friends did, but I didn't. I have my issues why I don't like it. In 2020, I gave my opinion saying I had the Marvel Legends Taskmaster, MC Taskmaster, it's the worst Marvel Legends figure of that year. And I still stand by that. It is. That figure was complete crap. Why? 
the articulation, the fucking accessories, and oh yeah, that figure was horrendous for posing, and it freaking, his freaking arm snapped on me. So I had to figure many times, talk to my friends about it, we got arguments, and well, the figure's in the trash, don't care for it, and never, and never look back at it. Hasbro, don't make the same mistake like 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 they did three years ago. And for record, let me say this. Let me say this. The fig. Let me say this. This this this, this, is, this is all my opinion. This, this is all my opinion. This is this is this is just all my opinion. Okay. Hasbro, stop with the stop with the half ass. Okay, with your Marvel Legends. I see y'all. I see y'all doing good Marvel Legends. Like not gonna lie. The Gamora, the Gamora Thanos look weird, cool. Same for the uh, what if Ultron? Even though I'm not buying, you know, I'm not buying a whole set. That figure look weird, cool. I'm not gonna lie, but dude, there are times Hasbro can be be greedy fucks and be stupid. Oh my goodness, let's talk about the freaking Insomniac New Marvel vs. Spider Man. Why is it three? Why is it thirty six dollars? Like, bro, yeah, okay, okay, fucking Spider Man. And I said more of the time that. I said more. And I, I said more of the time that I have like, no issue with, like. With, like, paying, like, $30 for a fucking Power Ranger figure. But shit, my fucking God, dude. Why is. Why is this. Why is this new. Why did this reissue Marvel Legend Exomniac Spider Man look like complete crap? Like, bro, the freaking. The freaking promotion material look way better. The actual figure look like complete doo doo. What the fuck, Hasbro? Like how? Like how you guys? Like how? How are y'all fucking up so badly on this? To be honest, with you, I honestly don't know how to fucking up on this because this is just a big, a big oof. And my God, Hasbro, y'all just. Y'all just sucked, don't you? Y'all just really suck. Because, I wouldn't say you guys suck, no. But yeah, you guys have like, you guys, you guys, you guys aren't taking the best criticism lately when it comes to Power Rangers. Oh my goodness. Not just Power Rangers, Marvel Legends, many other figures. But still, I feel like, the brand Power Rangers get treated like crap in the community because, well, it does. Like, compare like to compare like to you know, Super Sentai or Power Rangers, two different things. But yet, yet there are moments that both things outbeat the other. Just saying. Just saying. But at the same time, Power Rangers get treated like crap in the community because, well, it's not on the level as like as Ultraman, Sentai, and Comrade. Wonder why? Oh, there's a reason why. Because fucking Hasbro stuck in the Mighty Morphin era. Oh boy, Mighty Morphin ran. I talk about this so many times, and uh, I st and uh, last time I talked about this was like like what two years ago? Yeah, two years ago when Hasbro did that. A Abomination of a live stream. It was like what, fifteen minutes? My God, Hasbro, fifteen minutes. Hasbro, stop doing my morphin. <laughs> stop doing my morphin. And you wonder why the fandom? You wonder why the fandom getting tired? Of, oh, oh, you wonder why? Wonder why the fandom getting fucking tired? With uh, with Power Rangers, cut my God, they can't go one second without making something Mighty Morphin related, like Hasbro. Where the fuck are the other monsters of the Monster Deluxe Pack for other Ranger series? Like for fuck's sake, you you guys you guys release Snizar, Pump Pumpkin Rapper, uh, King Spinks, fuck who else? Yeah, Pudgy Pig, I Guy, all Mighty Morphin villains. Where the hell is uh, where the hell are the other uh monsters of the week for other seasons? Not just that, like, like, like for fuck's sake, they're doing like for fuck's sake. We got like Tangas, Cogs, 
Uh, fuck, what else? Putros, I think they're called. The Wild Force Henchmen. You know, yeah, that's it. But besides that, uh, Hasbro. No, just, no. No, Hasbro. Stop. Get, get on the, the Mighty Morphin phase. Just stop. It got Power Rangers this. Power Rangers is two step back while Sentai is two step forward. Like, Old Summer Sentai, King Oja just came out of Japan. And kids and kids and everyone are fucking loving it. Meanwhile, for Power Rangers, it's just dry as hell. And that's, that's not a good thing. I mean, once and for all, I'm excited for that. But at the same time, ah, oh God. Oh, God. I'm excited for that. But at the same time, I just won. I just want uh, Haskell to stop relying on, my, on on this on one season of, of three seasons, like, like for real. Unless it's not my Morphin, Haskell doesn't care. And that's an issue. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> So moving on, uh, episode. Let's talk about Jeets and King Oja. Uh, Jeets. Okay. Uh, it was a good episode. Mark Magma, Mark Two Boost. I, I I love that suit. The fucking red fox, the black and red. It's so good. It's so good. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. And uh, King Oja. Oh, the King Oja. Episode two is really good. Episode two is really really good. I can't wait to see. I like I like our Blue Ranger. He's cool. Like an actor for a reason. If you know why, then then I'll have to say it. But uh, episode two is really good, and I can't wait to watch it. I was getting a uh, real soldier vibe. You can kind of say from these two episodes. Well, I know why because it's the same writer who wrote for Real Soldier. So yeah. But yeah, Gia reminds me of Taro. He's just giving out Taro vibes and cold vibes. And uh, yeah, the suits are still still in like red, still in like still in like uh, Gia suit. Blue suit's cool. And uh, yeah, overall, yeah, that's all <laughs> that's all I have. I'm tired. I'm probably gonna upload. I'm probably gonna upload this tomorrow morning. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow well, my social media in the description. And, uh, yeah, uh, there's no, yeah, uh, I'm not talking about Akariko this week. Why? I haven't watched the latest episode. <laughs> I will next week, don't worry. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, uh, please follow my social media in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe. My name's Aaron, or Boku, whatever you want to call me. And, uh, well, I'm tired, and I'm out. Also, Put the notification button on for the next video we cover. If I hit a thousand subs and bring guys to help, we can do that. And uh, yeah, my name is Aaron. I'm tired. See ya. Bye.